have an intended member. Yes, my lover. This intending member privately for a minute. Okay. You don't do such thing. It's all right. Go on. What are you doing here? I saw the only defeat your friend was putting dollars at your father. I put them and why didn't you approach me? I never knew you remember. Now do you want more money? Yes, I want to be like you did have. How much are you worth now? About 20 million naira. I'll give you 30 million naira more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you turn around now and run. You run as fast as your legs can carry you. And never you ever dream of coming back here again. again. Nobody, I repeat, nobody from Omar Kanta will ever join a cult again. I've made enough sacrifice. I'm wrong. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all in their power and resources to improve the course of their existence. Oh. There were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Nelson Mandela. And here we had Dr. Nandi Asikuma and many more. So you want to be the second Jesus Christ? Oh, shut up, please. Shut up? Yes. You've lost all your cars? All your money? Very soon the banks will come and reclaim this house and all you tell me is shut up? Look, pay your deal. is ever benevolent. He will restore you immediately. Not on your life. Right. Let's see how far you can get on this lonely road. So going back to you a second time is no big deal. You're saying it. Then you're back there already. Fine. I'm planning to enjoy the ride. Don't deceive yourself. Nobody ever enjoys poverty. You'll be shocked. Okay. We shall see. Joke is that. Um, I just 
son sort myself out. I mean, find a job or something. Just listen to yourself. I want to stand here for a while, find a job. Which job? But there are many jobs in Lagos, now and you know it. Now listen, Ken. You're a dead man. Finished. God forbid. Turn your back and get out of here now. Let me please. Please, even if it's for all time's sake. Now listen. I do want to call the media to remove me from here. You're a dead man. And if you're looking for who to go down with, what are they from? Get out. workshop come on to find transport fare to the village nobody wants to lend me that i can't believe this is happening to me well what has to be done has to be done i pick the cross i'm going to carry it He has no reasons to hide. He will. If it is what I think, <laughs> then there is fire on the mountain. 
And what exactly do you think? I think his money is finished. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Impossible. Yeah. Let us find out. We are saying impossible. All right, let me change. And I want to say that. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Yeah. Take forty thousand. Two. Aeroplane. Two. Cheap. Where do you go? If you want. Oh, where do you go? Connected. How did you know I was home? The community is a small one. Sometimes even the grasses talk to each other. The Okada man. Why did the big cow decide to hide behind the green grass? The walk was in the room. Coming into town. What I see you go. I just decided to have a quiet time. Just to come home and have a rest. Kenneth, are you sure all is well? Quite well. Everything is fine. How did you know I was home? I always know whenever you make it. That's wonderful. You're coming. What do you want? Just to be with you. But you know that would not be possible. One, you're preparing for your wedding meeting, Ken. Two, I came here to have a very quiet time. Please, oblige me this request, please. Ken, I won't marry Ken if you don't approve. But I've already given my approval some days ago. Go on, grab it. It's a wonderful opportunity. My marrying him wouldn't stop me from seeing you whenever I want to, would it? Marry him for What did you say? Hey, Billy, baby, boy. Kennedy. <laughs> Kennedy. My own Kennedy. Thank God that you said it. Your own Kennedy. Oh, God, oh, God. What? Mm-hmm. You know what? All the money has been shown on us. Especially you, at times, me. He made it from blood. Blood what? money. Wait, 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 wait. Do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? More than the enormity. If I knew back, I told me. He went there to investigate the members who used God to make money. And then and then he stuck in it. He even told me that he can testify before Kenneth, face to face. You see? All the money is shown on us. You be careful. If I gave you a chunk of the money, it's made from blood. Off we go. Enough, enough, enough. Hey, go for that. Enough. Enough. No, 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 no. Enough. Who knows how many people this boy must have killed to make money from blood? Ah, Igwe, both of us, we are very stupid. We did not use our brains at all. How come that his father and mother died mysteriously? One. Show! Hey, you can. How will I move? 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 Enjoying, sir. <laughs> Anna? Yes. Anna, it's not that you never know meet today. Well, I come in the spirit of friendship. I mean, we've been friends for a very long time. We've really come a long way. And that's why I introduced you to dog. What do you want? Well, see, uh, a friend indeed is a friend indeed. When I heard that the people of Omakanta ostracized you, Kenneth, I wept all night. Look at the same people you exerted all your energies for, spent all your monies. Look at all you did for the Igwe, and he still ostracized you. Look, what I did, I didn't do just for the Igwe. I did it for my entire people. Well, um, the time has come for you to fend for yourself, now that they have abandoned you. Just pick one of them, and if I were you, the Igwe won't be a bad idea. Never. I already told you. I don't want to spill blood. I would rather wait here and die. 
thank God I've already seen the covenant. So what I did for my people cannot be reversed. After all, Jesus Christ died for the whole world, including the Jews that crucified him. But you're not Jesus Christ. But he was a man like you and I. Gideon says to tell you that you will go mad. And when you go mad, it will debase you in the presence of those you've been trying to protect. Listen to me as a friend. Now that you still sin enough, make this sacrifice and free yourself. Don't you think that going mad will be the best antidote to this drama? If I go mad, I won't remember anything. So don't you think that if I go mad, I'll forget everything? I've known you half the days of my life, but I never knew where to stop them. <laughs> Size me. Nobody visits me besides Ada. All the people I helped, they come home, drive all along without caring for Ken, Kenneth, Kendo, but what do you? Look at the Igwe. Igwe. Igwe actually decreed that I be ostracized. I can live with anything, but this is truly the height of it. I will have to see the way. Yes, I will see him. So Alpha, he's not relenting. He says he would rather go mad. What a pity. Such a fine young man with a very clean heart. Why is he so stubborn? I think it's a matter of principle. Sometimes we reveal our character and our prejudices. In his own case, I think it's a question of uh, the wrong peg in the wrong hole. Suffering, I just break down and cry every time I feel their pain. It makes me wonder why something must be wrong. They have suffered for too long, so I do my best to make the change. I give my life to free my people from poverty. 
Stop the misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life Of my people Kennedy is now roaming around the whole market, stuck, naked. Mm. He pains me so much. Why? Ah. Is it not the cause of his ignorance? Go on the back. Igwe, the God see in the dark. This Kennedy move back, he used both his father and mother for a while. It is the spirit of both parents that are striking back for using their blood. Igwe can ask. Are you sure of this? I only speak when the gods tell me to. Or are you saying the gods lie? Shay! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We go back to Indiaqui. Yes, sir. And repeat the sacrifice of seven life cows. That way, the whole village will be exonerated from this atrocity. That is it, too. Mm. It's wow. the whole village. Wow. Wow. Ezemmo is very right, too. Yes, sir. Even if it amounts to 14 cows, let's do it. But we have been lucky. You said seven. Mm -hmm. hey. Igwe, hey. let's do it, too. All right. You go and prepare for the sacrifices. Ezemmo, come on. You know that um, the men we used to exhume those over seven cows over a decade ago are no longer around. They are now very rich people. So they can't help us to do such a dirty job anymore. Come on, him. Never mind. I have people from neighboring villages. Okay. It's in there good to consume seven cows. I wonder myself. Hey, Gary. Come on, Come on, come on, Sam. Can you for me? Huh? Okay, okay, this time I'll give you 600,000 naira. i just give it to you. Um, um, if I need, how much do you want? Um, uh, shut up, how much? Okay, I'll give you 2 million naira this time. training. Your mother did not train you well. You're coming to somebody's house and we, without invitation. What's your problem? My friend, get out. Get out! Of here. <coughs> Please, get out! I'll give it to you. Hey, I can give you a camera. Hey, 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 you can touch this. I can give you my Jackson. Drive me high, get over. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, this one, this one, you want to try? 
Besides, today is not the confession day. Father, this is rather a special case. The person in question is a madman. And he committed an unusual kind of sin. And now he's mad and can't confess. But before he went mad, he confided in me. Well, my sister, before God, every man and woman is by him or herself. But, Father, he can't come to confession. Why? The same people he sacrificed himself for have ostracized and rejected him. That's why he went mad. Did you say the same people he sacrificed himself for? Yes, Father. Can this person be reached? Yes, Father. Okay. You have to wait for me, eh? I'll be right back. When I see my people Stay down and cry Every time I feel their pain It makes me wonder why Something must be wrong That's him, that's him. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. I don't see that. Stop the misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life Of my people Ada, God will bless you for what you have done I did nothing, Father that man out there is the kindest of men. He plunged himself into this mess because he loved his community. Can you, can anything be done to save him? Of course. You see, this is the Roman Catholic Church. And like, like other churches, there are priests that are blessed with special powers to cast out demons and heal people. Hmm? Six months ago, I was transferred to this Omakanta parish. Well, before I came, I received the inspiration and the message that my coming to Omakanta village is for a special purpose. To liberate one in bondage. Sister Adam. I am one of those priests blessed with powers to heal and cast out demons. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. You see, when I saw Kenneth out there, I got the message. How did you know his name? Ada, the Holy Spirit does not lie. So, you, you can save him then? Not I, but God. First, 
We have to make arrangements to bring him to the parish. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. I should rather be thanking you for bringing me to my responsibility. Hmm? Sit down. Sit down. When I see my people suffering, I just break down and cry. Every time I feel their pain, it makes me wonder why. Something must be wrong, they have suffered for too long. So I do my best to make the change. I give my life. Free my people from poverty, stop the misery. Death. Ha. <laughs> and your <dog. laughs> I was just performing on the stage now, and my throat, you know, got dry. So I, uh, I said, let me come to you, give me a cup of water. That's still waiting for me. Kendo, I can remember vividly. I've warned you time with that number that I don't want to see you anywhere around this compound. So what are you doing here by this time of the night? I <laughs> knew You must come this way. Hey, hey, hey. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Now, Kendo, read my lips. Leave now and don't come back here again. Did you get me? Are you going to make a million? You want water, right? You want water. Come step back. Just think. As you give me water, huh? Step back first. I'll roll back. Just think. I'll get the water, okay? I'll stick there. I'll get the water. I know, I know, I know, we. I know, we. Drink water. Let me see you again and I'll do one thing. What water? Thank you, Father. Thank you for perfecting this job. Thank you for this healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for perfecting this work. Thank you for doing this marvelous work in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, rejoice for the Lord has healed him. Don't thank me, but God in heaven. I don't know what to say. Father, thank you so much. Don't worry. He only has to rest for a while, then we'll be taking a clean home. Let us go. Suffering, I just break down and cry every time I feel their pain. It makes me wonder why something must be wrong. They have suffered for too long, so I do my best to make a change. I give my life to free my people from poverty. Stop the misery Sacrifice myself For my land Change the life Of 
my people I give my life Father, I have seen It was in self-defense Self-defense? Yeah For the love of humanity I'll tell you my story to be a waste of time. Because I already know your story. You what? Yes. For the 12 hours that you were in the healing room, God revealed your story to me. All the actions within your village, including the ones you don't know, we are played back to me. That's impossible. There is nothing like impossible when the Holy Spirit is involved. I know everything. The way you use your manhood to make money to liberate your people. The way your court members demanded that you should bring a soul because you chased one defiant out of the court. Even the way they made you mad because of your vehement refusal. I didn't know what I was doing. Please forgive me. Well, Brother Kenneth, I must tell you, you have a very complicated issue. But the first step of breaking away from the devil is returning to him whatever that you have inherited from him. But I've given him back everything. You have not. You have not. What about the people that you made millionaires with the ritual money? But I paid him back with my manhood. The scripture says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you have no right whatsoever to use any part of yourself for anything. But God said we can cut off any part of us that can lead us to sin. But in your own case, you cut it off to aid you in sin. I'm sorry. Please save me. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I know that this parish was built with your money. Without you, I wouldn't have been here. But even at that, you jumped the gun. How? God had a wonderful plan for this village that seemed the most backward in a committee of towns. But you acted seven days before God's glory could manifest. I don't know. You should have waited unto the Lord. You should have waited because He has a purpose for everything. What purpose had He when my father and my mother and my people were all dying in penury? <laughs> Kenneth, Job went to hell, came back and glorified the name of the Lord. But Job was a direct gamble between God and the devil. So were you. You sure that you didn't notice your own on time? Huh? In your own very case, the devil won. A man has ruled in your life for a period of 12 years. But I still remember the word that Christ spoke on the cross of Calvary. He said in the book of John, chapter 19, verse 30, when he tasted the saw wine, he looked up to heaven and said, it is finished. I want you to rejoice. For the days of the devil are gone. I want you to rejoice. For the days of the devil are over. God is back to take absolute control. Amen. Right from your conception, God made you special. You would have been walking in the vineyard of the Lord. But the devil, being the saddest he is, as jealous as he has always been, cornered you and dragged you into his net. So what do I do? It's alright. It's alright. Super now. We have a lot of work to do. Plenty of work. Let us go. 
God's word. Our Father in heaven, ever living King, I thank you, I worship thee for this day. Thank you for everything. I mean, I owe everything to you. Ah, uh, no, Ken. <laughs> you don't owe anything to me, but to God who is in heaven. Um, Father, I've been praying like you counseled. And um, on sober reflection, I quite agree with you that I picked the cross I carried. I never regretted it while it lasted. What pierced my heart like an ice peak is the fact that my community ostracized me. The same umwa cancer that made me pass through this suffering. It was unbearable. Kenneth. First, umwa Kanta was not responsible for your ordeal. But they contributed to my misery. No. You chose the devil. And the same devil through Uduyong tormented you when you ignored him. But how did you know all this? I know, Ken. The same devil manipulated your people against you. Have you ever asked yourself why no one out of the tens of men that you have trained in your community never stood by you? It was Uduyong that infiltrated their minds. And how is this possible? It was easy. All the things that you gave to your people belonged to the devil. So he used the same channel to manipulate your people. A lot of things happen in the spiritual world, Ken. So to avoid complications, you have to feed your subconscious with the things of the Lord. And you will always be protected. You know, each time I come here, I learn a new thing every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, you're welcome. They said one man's effect is not enough. Mm -hmm. So each time you come, I'll give you my counsel and just the way God directs. <laughs> God bless you. Okay. I just fake them and cry. Every time I feel their pain, it makes me wonder why. Something must be wrong They have suffered for too long So I do my best To make a change I give My life To free my people from poverty Stop their misery Sacrifice Myself For my land Change the life Let you know the Bible says, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I believe you have received your own rest now. I'm perfectly well now. Uh, Kenneth, there's another reason why I called you. I want you to devote interest in reading the scriptures. Mm -hmm. My Reverend Father has cured him of the madness. What? All right. I'm going to finish him off completely. Because it is through the scripture that you are...
I'm asking you, Father, to come and take control of this affair. For it has come to your doorstep. Father, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lady, lady. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, tonight, you have received your vindication from the Lord. At this minute, the Lord accepts you in his vineyard. You are blessed. You are blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Igwe, Igwe, this man in question, Mr. Kenneth Oba, who is also a son of Omar Kanta, brought light to this village. Contrary to what you all believed, Kenneth did not spare blood. He had the option to use anyone that he so desired, but he refused to spare blood. <laughs> And because he loved his community so much, he suggested and used his manhood for the good of this community. What? Igwe. I am a Reverend Father of the Roman Catholic Church. And I shouldn't be discussing this. But believe me, whatever actions, God still recognizes one with a good heart. And that is why he has sent me to this village to liberate him. Father, are you saying that Kenneth did not kill anybody to make his money? You were in all honesty. Kenneth never spilled blood. Not at all. In other words, that young man was wrongly accused. Exactly. Exactly, Igwe. Kenneth sacrificed his manhood to make money so as to liberate his people. Oh my God. We all wrong this young man. And this calls for total repentance by the entire community. Igwe, now that we have the chance to repent, why don't we tell that line? Father, anything. Anything at all. Anything. The only root is Christianity. <laughs> Cre what? Yes. Christianity. Oh! No! <laughs> Abomination! You go, my Bible tells me that no one shall see the kingdom of God except he is born again. Let us all go to church, get baptized and see what God has for this community. Oh! Igwe! I'm on I'm leaving. I can never be a party to this. How are you? You say the only root is a Christianity. <laughs> Thank you very much. Igwe, the only root is Christianity. No God meat, no cow meat, and I'm. Um... Igwe, please, I beg of you. Do not look at these two. Just follow your heart. Thank you. Don't let this wind blow through. If these people succeed, what will happen to the cows I ask them to drink? Ndeku, you see in the dark, you can't let this happen. Mbano, Mbano, you guys should not consent. That's an abomination. Ndeku, if you do this, I will offer you a big cock. Ndeku, Ubu you boss in Donagia. If you drug, I don't want to get you
I guess you have good news. <laughs> yes, father. So, let me hear it. My manhood has been restored. What? Oh, glory be to God Almighty. Amen. Eh? Amen. Hey! That means you cannot take a wife. Wait in the Lord. And you'll be amazed how God will bless you. Thank you, Father. Hi! But, uh, Father, for over a decade now, I had no use for my manhood. And I don't think I ever want to use it again. Why? I want to become a reverend father. You what? Yes. I made up my mind about this long time ago. But I was only waiting to see whether God will restore my manhood. And now he has done it to his own glory. I am now convinced that I sincerely want to be a reverend father. Kenneth, I... I hope you know exactly what you are up to. I know, father. I mean, as the only child of your parents. I know, but I've chosen to serve the Lord. You are equally making the same sacrifice. Father, I want to sanctify my town. I infested that town with the devil, so I want to cleanse it with the blood. That's very touching. I know giving back the devil what is his is the first step towards breaking away from him. But we can't demolish the church simply because it was built with devil's money. We cannot demolish all the houses in my village. So I believe that we can only sanctify them. Well, Kenneth, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Kenneth, there's a lot to be done. There is a lot to be done. When I see my people suffering, I just break down and cry. Every time I feel their pain, it makes me wonder why. Something must be wrong. They have suffered for too. People have suffered, sweated, and even shed blood to make God's desire for man metamorphose into an excellent accomplishment. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all within their power and resources to make a cause for their existence. <clears throat> there were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Mandela. And here 